I don't always think that I have a superpower, but if I did, it would be how to bring people together and get them to talk openly, break down barriers, whether that be work, whether that be personal, whatever it is. Um, people know that I love to talk, so it's not a surprise that I get other people to talk. My name is Brett Klein. I work at Eisenhower Health. Well, I've supported DAP when I lived in Los Angeles. I would come out every year with some friends here and do the AIDS walk. Flash forward years later, I end up having the opportunity to work for DAP, and I spent seven wonderful years working in, you know, with some amazing healthcare individuals in our community. My hero are my parents, um, and I'm thankful that, you know, which you'll hear later, my father's in the audience tonight. Um, age 90 this week, and so happy birthday, Dad. It really is one of those things that I wouldn't be the person I am um, of giving, of service, of heart, of caring, compassion, empathy, all those things, my fortitude, my workaholic nature um, without my parental uh, upbringing. Service comes in many levels, um, whether that, again, be personal service, of giving of time, of heart, of money, that stranger on the street, the individual uh, that needs a shopping cart, you know, return to this, you know, back to the, the parking area, someone that needs a bag carry, you know, whatever those things are. And I Sarah converted in 1994. Unbeknownst to me, I was a closeted gay man, hadn't yet come out. So 27 years later, this next year, um, you know, that was a pivotal point. Thankfully, I got into some wonderful care streams in Los Angeles and, and different places, and it really set the foundation for who I believe in my heart I became as an individual. I want to challenge the individuals in the audience tonight. I want to challenge the people who look at this video online to live their own personal story. I ran into this, this site recently, and I'm not endorsing it by any means, but it, it really struck at my core. It's kind of live a great story. And what that meant to me personally is looking within and how does that within expand to the outward you and the communication and your physicality and your service or whatever that looks like in your world from small to large to in between making sure that you have a story to tell, because we all do, and to be able to share that with others, which we all feel, especially people who are in service, do not like to share. You know, until we're asked that question, we keep it within, we share it with a small group. I'm challenging people to break those barriers, to expand it, to live that story, and to make it come to life.